What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux and Android videos and I put them on the internet. Uh, today's video is going to show you guys how to transfer any file type from your Linux box to your Samsung and Galaxy Nexus. Now you may be saying to yourself, Lou, you've already done a video on how to do this. Um, yes and no. I did a video on how to transfer files using MTP or Media Transfer Protocol. Now there's a couple issues here and I want to actually also address the fact that I get a lot of messages stating that the links are broken to my download scripts and the, and the packages I had for that particular uh, video. That's because something like uh, something you guys may have heard of called SOPA, yeah it really sucks. It shut down a lot of these free web hosts and so the one that I was using multi upload was shut down you know this is a perfect example of something that was completely legitimate you know I was using packages pulled from Ubuntu a free and open source Linux operating system um, and I was making them available for you guys using multi upload and the site got shut down so uh, that's a whole other topic but anyway I don't have web hosting guys for just general purpose stuff. I have it for my Android ROMs, but that's for Android use only. It's not for anything else. So for those that um, are looking for those packages, I'm sorry. I don't have web hosting for stuff like that. However, the method I'm bringing you guys today, I believe is superior. It works 100% of the time. It's not dodgy. Even with those updated packages, you know, you would have stuff that froze, stuff that wouldn't fully transfer, stuff that would get corrupted in transfer. You know, um, I did try the Ubuntu 1204 beta, and I plugged in my Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and it seemed to detect it right out of the box. Um, how that support is going to be uh, as far as file transfers, I'm not sure. But uh, as far as transferring files to and from the device, I use the Android SDK. I've got videos on how to you uh, set up and install the Android SDK, so if you haven't done that, why don't you go ahead and... Um, go and watch those videos and then uh, come back and watch this one. Um, the Android SDK is an extremely powerful tool. It is flexible. Uh, it is, uh, it's got so many different uses. I use it almost every single day, especially in my Android work. And I especially use it pushing things to and from my device. I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. It's very, very easy. So I've got the Android SDK installed and uh, I've also have um, EDB in my path. Okay, now I get this question a lot. How do I put ADB in my path? I'm on Linux Mint 12. So if we went into, uh, we went, you know what? Let me put my keyboard on screen here. Okay, so if we typed gedit etsy, and we're gonna type uh, bash dot uh, bash rc. All right, so this is Linux Mint, Linux Mint's, um, what they're using for bash, their bash rc file. Um, as you can see right down here, I've got commented out, Android ADB, and then export path equals path, and then the um, path to my platform tools directory in the SDK. All you've got to do is open up that particular file. Instead of doing gedit, you're going to type sudo gedit etsy bash dot bash rc. Um, you're going to type in your password. Hit enter. Okay, now because we use the sudo command, we're able to edit this file. Um, you'll just you'll type the same beginning portion, export path equals path colon, and then the path to your particular platform tools directory. It's that simple. Save and close the file. You're good to go. Now, if you're on a standard uh, install of Ubuntu, you're gonna go into your home directory. Hit Control H. This is going to reveal all hidden files and folders. You're going to look for a file that says .bashrc. You're going to um, open up .bashrc, do the exact same thing we just did there. Now, you may have to reboot um, to restart bash, or you, if you're in Linux Mint, you can type source um, etsy bash.bashrc. Okay, and that right there just restarted bashrc within Linux Mint. Now if you're in a standard install of Ubuntu, you're going to still type source and all you're going to do is type dot bash rc and you're going to hit enter and uh, that will restart bash for you guys. So now ADB is within our path. You need to plug in your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. You need to go down to the developer options and you need to enable USB debugging. Uh, if you don't do this, uh, ADB will not work. 
So <clears throat> if we type in ADB shell and then LS, let's list out everything here. As you can see, we're, we've got the contents of our device. Let's CD into SD card. For those of you that do not know, these devices do not have physical SD cards. Uh, they have virtual SD cards, okay? Um, so let's list out everything on our SD card by typing LS. Here's everything on my SD card. Let's do, let's go into my music directory, CD music. Let's list it out. Here's all the albums on my SD card. One of the more uh, common things that I push to my phone would be music and pictures. Now, these are all of the particular albums I have on here. Let's do something like uh, CD uh, Catalysts listed out. Here is all the tracks on my Newfound Glory Catalyst album. All right. So let's let me show you guys how to push something uh, like music to the SD card. Now, keep in mind, if you have one large directory of music, you can push the whole thing at one time. Now, for me, uh, I'll show you guys what I got going on here for my music. And music. Okay. So here's all my music, right? I have each artist is represented by a particular directory. Let's go into Mute Math. And then for each album that they have, I have a separate directory. And then within that album, of course, is the actual uh, music itself. So perfect example, I'm going to push Mute Math. Now, say I wanted to do, I don't know, Mute Math, MXPX, um, Newfound Glory. If I try to uh, you know, push all these at one time, it wouldn't work. If I put all these in a single directory and push it, it would work. So that's kind of the downfall of, of ADB. And of course, this is a command line interface versus a GUI. So for those of you who are afraid of the command line, um, get comfortable with it. Honestly, you're on a Unix-based system. The command line is the most powerful tool at your disposal. Don't be afraid of it. It's not hard to use. And if you can get comfortable with the command line, you can do anything. Um, you know, I find it also kind of amusing, again, coming from a Mac uh, background, people who use OS X use it for this kind of really nice, pretty GUI and how easy it is, but it's a Unix base and no one ever uses the terminal. It's one of the most powerful tools on a Mac system as well. So anyway, this is super simple to do. Okay, so I'm going to push mute, the Mute Math album uh, to my music folder on my SD card. We're going to do that with the ADB push command. So simply type ADB push. Now, here's a little trick for those of you who don't know. Um, I've got all my music stored on a separate hard drive, a one terabyte hard drive. All I got to do is grab the Mute Math album, drag it into your terminal. That's going to completely type out the path to that, that directory for you. It saves a lot of time. All you got to do now is type forward slash SD card forward slash music and now hit enter. As you can see here in the output, it's showing you uh, all of the tracks that it's transferring. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This transfers at a fairly good rate as well. Um, in, in my uh, opinion, it transfers faster than MTP did. As you can see right down here, we see that it transferred an average of about 3 megabits per second, and it transferred the entire album in 11 seconds. Not bad. So if we run an ADB shell again and CD into our SD card, hit LS, um, CD into music, list it out. Um, now, Mute Math album is called Reset EP. There it is right there. If we CD into Reset EP, list it out. There's all the tracks. Now, as you can see, it transferred the album, but it didn't transfer the original um, directory the album was in as of um, Mute Math. No big deal. If you were to actually go in and open up your music application on your phone, it's going to categorize all this stuff by artist, so no worries. It's going to read the ID tags. Um, you can actually push single tracks. As long as the ID tag information is correct, um, your music application should group everything with the similar ID tags together, so no big deal there. Um, so literally, that is how to push. Um, that is how to push music to your uh, SD card. Now, if you want to pull something off of it, it's equally as easy. All you got to do is, uh, all right, we'll do Fever. So let's exit. Oh, let's type it, spell it correctly. All right. Now let's pull. So we're going to do ADB uh, pull forward slash SD card forward slash music forward slash fever okay we want to pull this 
and we want to put it in my um, music directory in my home folder. As you can see, it's pulling the tracks off of the device and it's transferring them into the music directory in my home folder. So if I go into home, come over to music, as you can see, there it is right there. It's pulling all the tracks. And again, you can do this for any file type. Um, I've got a beta version of my next ROM release right here. I'll use ADB to push it to my SD card. Um, or, you know, pictures, music, any, any file type whatsoever, you can use ADB. Extremely flexible, very easy. This right here did it in about 3.6 megabits per second, 34.9 seconds. It pulled the, that whole album off of my phone and onto my Linux box. That's it, guys. It's that simple. Okay, no bunch of packages you have to install, no fancy scripts, blah, blah, blah. If you've already got the Android SDK installed in your system, this is going to be very easy. You're just going to, excuse me, apply, you know, uh, the commands I showed you guys how to do today. Now, as per usual, in the video description below, I'll include a link out to a blog post that covers any of the terminal commands that we uh, went over today, so you guys can easily um, just kind of adapt uh, what I did to your particular situation, specifically as far as like if you wanted to put ADB in your path, um, I do have a snippet in that blog post about how to add ADB. You simply keep the beginning portion, that export path equals path, that's the same. You keep that. The only thing you do is you change the what everything that uh, comes after the colon, that path to your SDK, um, and of course you're going to change your username and all that other stuff. Um, and then, you know, just save that in whatever equivalent of the bash RC file you have uh, and close it and you're good to go. Um, so hopefully guys, this was helpful for you. For everyone who's been asking about those packages for MTP, hopefully um, you now know why um, those links are broken. Blame SOPA. Sorry. Um, anyway, guys, once again, hopefully this was helpful for you. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we will see you later.